It is very shocking that uh, just a few months after the election, and considering the kind of uh, promises that were being given to citizens in the last campaigns, that uh, Kenyans can be, you know, subjected to such a ridiculous and uh, totally expensive uh, situation of, uh, of a new finance bill, which in, in, in the years that I've been in Parliament from 2013, I have never seen uh, such, such a vicious uh, attempt at uh, turning, you know, turning Kenyans into paupers. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, I, I'm almost uh, inclined to imagine a situation where we have uh, the Count Dracula sucking the blood uh, from his victims. Because really, when you look at this uh, finance bill, and, and by the way, I'll, I'll, I'll advise uh, almost all Kenyans to write a mem memorandum to the, to the clerk so that they can know the, the magnitude with which uh, this is going to affect Kenyans. You know, I, uh, let me just start by pointing out uh, what, what it basically means to employees. Some, we are looking at a situation where our employees are already uh, suffering from an increase uh, of almost uh, over 500% in NSSF that has just been introduced this year. And uh, that means that uh, from uh, 200 shillings that was being paid, now they're paying over 1,000 shillings. I think it's 1,080. Mm -hmm. NHIF has also been increased by, you know, to, to set at a rate of 2.7%, which means anyone earning of ab about 40,000 40, per month will pay more in, uh, in, 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 uh, in NHIF. In fact, the maximum had been set to, to 1,700. But uh, people will pay well in excess of tens of thousands. Um, then there is the introduction of uh, this uh, National Housing Development Fund, which we had debated before in Parliament and had also been taken to court, um, where now <laughs> every employee is expected to pay 3% of their salary right. to, 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 to purchase a house. And you know, when it comes to issues of purchase of houses, it's very personal, because uh, according to the, the, the way this is being set up, it's like everybody is going to contribute. It's like, in my opinion, a Ponzi scheme, where you know a million people contribute, but only about 10, 20,000 benefit. Mm -hmm. and, and really, at the end of the day, I think that's very unfair. Payers yuan has also gone up, uh, you know, from people earning half a million from 30% to 35%. And, and that, it doesn't stop there, Sam, because there is also pressure that has been put on the employee because uh, there, is a new, there is a new proposal that uh, people, when they, the person who collects tax, uh, rent for, for houses that our employees live in, uh, must remit that money within, uh, within 24 hours. That means there will be pressure on every employee to pay their rent probably by the last day of the month. And you know, with the kind of uh, situation we are facing, it's very difficult. Again, there is also the reintroduction of the 16% uh, you know, VAT on fuel. Uh, from 8%. That again means that the cost of living, the cost of transport, those who go by, 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 by public means, the cost of fare, will also go up. Uh, then, I mean, we've, we've seen even introduction of taxes on, you know, very basic things like, uh, you know, uh, beauty products for our, our ladies that, uh, you know, receptionists and secretaries going to the offices who will suddenly have to pay more to be presentable before they go to the office. Even the mobile phones. I mean, let me say some, I think this is, this is totally an acceptable. I think uh, I, would, I would be very surprised to see any member of parliament standing on the floor to support this kind of bill. This is a bill we must amend, you know, almost on, any, on every page so that we can at least be fair, noting mm -hmm. the kind of uh, the stress Kenyans are going through. Some you saw Kenyans in the, in the streets uh, complaining about the high cost of living. And, and suddenly we are being told that is not, you know, they're being told you ain't seen nothing yet. You pass this finance bill and Kenyans will now not be able to afford almost anything. So some I think this is something we need to address as, as a parliament okay. and as a country. And we need to advise the government that there must be other ways. Even if you're going to look at an increase in, 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 in taxation, why not wait until things have stabilized and, and food prices have come down and the economy has improved so that you can be able to tax your people. Okay. Now is the wrong time.